before I you guys start going, wait, why is he going on a rant about this guy whose goddamn controversy happened like fucking like months ago? Because I forgot he existed for a while. I forgot a prick, the prick I'm about to be talking about fucking existed for so long. And then when I remember he existed, I'm like, oh yeah, I, didn't, I don't like him. I don't like him anymore. He used to be, he used to be cool, but now he's a loser that fucking mistreated the people helping him. So Nathaniel took after him. But, so, this is talking about Almore, Al Amar, a Al Almore, Amar Ultra. Ultra, uh, Almar Ultra, how do you pronounce your name? And this prick, this fucking dumbass prick. You, the people helping you are meant to be treated like friends if they're your friends. Don't treat them like they're something you control and that you forced to help you. This man started villainizing one of his friends just because they, because the Friday Night Funkin' Molly was working on didn't come out the day he wanted it to. Like, one minute, don't fucking do that shit. I, I don't take kindly to you being a fucking dickhead. You fucking dick. But no, this guy is like, you know what, what if I just villainize the guy, who, this person who's helping me with this because the thing I was making didn't come out yesterday. Like, no, you're not meant to do that. And Almo Ultra did that, and his fans, before finding out how bad of a person he was being to them all, all believed him. They believed it was that person's fault. And the person was fucking ass. Not, no, god damn it, wait, it was Ash. It was fucking space, not actually fucking them, Ash. There we go, that's fucking hell. That's better, that sounded better, okay. But, the reason it pisses me off about that is because I don't personally own them. No, no, know them. They just try and say no, and... I'm, and other people know them at the same time, so I accidentally said own them. Okay, I don't know them, but other people do know them. What I've seen from them, they're a nice person. And they were being, in, and Almore was treating, was acting like that person was the fucking villain on why his Friday Night Funkin' Mod update didn't come out. The day he wanted it to, no, sir. It's because you ain't working them, letting them have days off. No, that's why it didn't come out, you dumbass. But yeah, definitely blame the person that is helping, like one of the main people that are helping you. And the reason it pisses me off so much is because you also can look into the past of Al Moore's videos. This man made a fucking thing with him shipping. Fucking shipping. And it ain't no, oh, uh, well, well, how, imagine if the others two were dating. No, it was like fucking hardcore ships. Like, this guy had to get told by the people, we aren't gonna, we don't want any not safe work ships. No. And he continued it. He had set up a not safe work ship. For a mi- for two miners. People that were fucking underage this man was shipping together. The fuck you doing, man? The fuck you be doing? No. You're not- No. Almore. What happened? I used to go like, well, he has such a good mod. I love this. But now you make me just wanna never play Fire Night fucking again. And apparently, that's not the fucking first time, because there's a, another content creator, Peter, he was friends with still, was found out to be a fucking pedophile. 
This man was friends with a fucking pedo. And when it came out that he was a pedo, he was still friends with the guy. And then, and then, this is the worst part about it all. A person that helped him with the mod, who is, if I remember correctly, um, 17. 17 years old, he made it not safe for a guard of. Not safe for a guard of a 17 year old. I forgot when that was legal. Wait a second, let me do my research real quick. Oh wait, that's not fucking legal. Anywhere. Unless they consented, and the funniest part was, the people that were in it, they found out because he was getting called out for that shit. So they didn't know about that. Until they, until he started getting yelled at for this. And then when they found out, they were like, dude, we did not agree to this. It's like, out more. One. Was fucking best bug for fucking pedo. Mm, I give him a. Should get the death sentence out of a hundred. And then again, did more dickish things. Like this fucking prick. I don't. I don't believe I can look at Bob and Bosif's stuff again. The same way, and nope, there's my 15th alarm to make sure I woke up. And since I'm wide awake, I. Oh my god, that was. That scared me, I just hear. Turn. <laughs> Run away. I don't know why, it doesn't even matter how hard you try. Keep that in mind, the time is right, and I'm trying. All I know is well, how I think. I'll try down the hell swings. I don't know any other words, and I fucking hate myself for that. I might look up the lyrics so I can do this. Do that. game that was actually helpful teleport upwards you fucking prick upwards upwards bum thank you thank you upwards okay thank you game that's taking a while today you fucking dig it you fucking you fucking dig it get back you fuck sucking dig it I don't know why whenever I get mad I start fucking cussing. I become Michael Bisping when he's drunk. I become a fucking drunk Michael Bisping. The funny thing is, is someone actually punched Michael Bisping in the face. He challenged the guy to a box. He literally challenges the guy to a fight after that. Like, hey, you wanna punch me in the face? How about you punch me in the face for getting paid? How about I punch you in the face? And you get paid. 
Hmm? Fair trade. You get money. I get to beat you up. No, that's not a fair trade. Say yes. Wait, just beat you up here. Yes. There we go. Now, do you want to fight me? No. Say yes, or I beat you up here. Yes, that's what I thought. Give me bomb. Thank you. Something good. Sprinkler, yay! That's what I'm used to hearing from this. It's most likely you just can go. Use the muscles you worked so hard for. She stopped working out last week. Why? I was sad. That's literally just me in a nutshell. Use the muscles you worked so hard for. She stopped working out last week. Why? I was sad. You're meant to eat the spiders, not spit them out. Ah! Those are flies, Critton. Those are flies. I'm blind. Die, thank you. Fun with don't know why. Uh, it doesn't even matter how hard to try. Keep that in mind. Oh, I don't know why. Okay, I'm gonna look up the lyrics. Okay, so that's the lyrics. Yo, wait. Who are you? Yo, welcome. I was low. I was literally just going on a LAN about like different people. Like, I was first went on a LAN about that where people call Almor or Amor and I, I, I can't I can't even say he was a good person. This man was friends with a well known pedophile. I feel like that's fine. This man then goes on to become friends with a seventeen year old and then decides, you know what, I'm gonna make not so for a guard of them. I, I, I'm not even gonna continue going on about how many bad things they've done. But I'd be here all fucking day. Because it was a 30 or 40 minute video of going over all the bad things he did before it got over. Got onto, like, how he. Like, when this happened. Or what. Like, this man went from being. Talk about as being one of the best Friday Night Funkin' mod creators ever. To being found out as being a fucking, pretty much just a fucking pedophile. No, no, I can't even say pretty much. He, this man was a fucking pedophile. Pedophil. This man was friends with a child predator. He admitted on Discord in a chat with one of his friends of being in the call no he not even being on a call of making not safe for our car of his crush when they were in high school like this man went from being talked about as one of the greatest to being realized as being one of the worst like this man had a faster downfall than john jones did after that first car accident like dear god like this man's downfall was like conor mcgregor after he got all that money he ain't feeling like he wants to fight anymore. I know, like, goddamn, I agree. Fucking goddamn, this man's downfall was like watching Francis Ngannou after he lost him Jokic. You don't know what he's going to do. This man going to be losing to a guy that needs back surgery next. He did. Like, that man had a faster downfall than fucking Cody Garbrandt. 
Cody motherfucking no love Garbrand had a fa had a slower downfall than Almore after popularity struck. Because the popularity just slapped Almore in the face and like, you know what? I'm gonna come out. You're gay? No, I'm a fucking pedophile. Why the fuck are you here? I got a bomb. <laughs> I'm talking all about how fucking horrible this man was, and I'm like, I got a bomb. <laughs> but, like, this man's downfall is like watching fucking Cody Garbrandt's downfall. Like, holy shit, what the fuck happened here? Cody, didn't we just fucking dominate the Dominator? Why the f what the fuck is happening to you here? Oh shit, you're getting their ass handed to you by TJ Dillashaw. Well, in the, at least your next fight with him, you ain't gonna get your ass handed to you. You got your ass handed to yourself again! What are you doing, no love? Well, at least you're not gonna go on a fucking multiple fight losing streak because you keep wanting to go for the fucking knockout and get to yourself knocked out at, in the process. Oh wait, you do! Like, what the fuck happened to Cody Garbrandt? Like, this man, this YouTuber went from being, being pretty much, this is like watching Cody Garbrandt's downfall, and like, he's so amazing, holy shit, what the fuck just happened here? Instantly. Because Cody Garbrandt was ta being talked about as the best bantamweight ever. Like, this man just fucking destroyed Dominic Cruz like it was nothing. Like, Dominic Cruz looked like a no one compared to to his opponent, and that opponent was Cody Garbrandt, like, TJ Dillashaw lost to this man. So it's like, oh, yeah, no, to beat him. This is by far the best fighter we have in this division, oh, what, huh? What do you mean? He ain't winning anymore, because, and getting knocked out in pretty much one punch every fight. What do you mean he just went down a weight class and lost to Kai Call of France? Like, I can't say that's a bad thing. I call oh, France is a good fight. Like, hell of a great fighter, but... You went down a weight class, Dillashaw. Not Dillashaw, um... Garbrandt. Like, you ain't trying to fight, like, Henry say who don't know, you're trying to fight... Goddamn, um... Kai call of France. You ain't fighting no Henry say who though. No, you're fighting call of France. How are you going to go ahead... Go into this fight and still get your ass handed to you. Like, Cody Garbrandt went from being some, like, guy people were like, Oh, this might be the greatest fighter here. To get some guy who people were like, He's still here? Whenever they bring him up. Like, he hasn't retired yet? <laughs> what? <laughs> like, what? He hasn't retired? <laughs> I thought that man would have retired after, like, his 50th loss in well. Uh, no. Yeah. Yeah, this man went from being, oh, well, you better be scared, it's Cody Garbrandt, he's gonna knock you out, to, who is this guy? No love? Yeah, I didn't watch him in his earlier fight, so I don't know how good he was. What are you saying, was? He's still okay. This man hasn't won a fight since 2020. That's how you know you're bad when you haven't fought, won a fight in two years! And that was literally the case, he hadn't won a fight since 2020. I will look up Cody Garbrandt's record to see if that's the case, real quick. I was really gonna sing the lyric song in the end, but holy shit, I'm now wondering what Cody Garbrandt's record is. Good old no love. Yep, his record. Cody Garbrandt's MMA record by good old Sher Sheer Dog, a actually trustable source. What is Cody Garbrandt's motherfucking record? Twelve wins, five losses. That's not like okay. So this man joined the UFC. So his pro fight, his first pro fight, he won by TKO. In 4 minutes and 11 seconds in the very first round. Round via punches. Won his second ever fight. Knockout via punches. Which is 3 minutes and 57 seconds. In the first round. Second, like, pretty much his early career was just him dominating his opponents. And then 
he beat Marcus Bleemigid on Jones vs. Cormier via TKO via punches. Holy shit, my computer's lagging. Cody Garbrandt's record is so bad, my computer can't handle it. I might die from Garbrandt, or I might die from the game, because the game can't kill me. Garbrandt won a unanimous decision against Erika Bruno. And then he won against August Mendez by a knockout. And then Thomas Almiad was his first ever big time fight because it was like, oh my god, what can this guy do? He's in the main event. And then main he's the main fight. He won by a knockout and won in the first round. And they fought Takia Mizingo and not and pummeled him with 48 seconds into the round. And then fought Dominic Cruz and won a unanimous decision. Like, oh my god, this man's terrifying. He just did that. What else can he do? And then his fight with TJ Dillashaw fucked him over because he got TKO'd by punches. And then their second fight, he got KO'd via knees and punches. And then his fight with Pedro Munoz a year after those two losses, he lost via getting TKO'd. And then he won a last. A by the buzzer knockout blow in his fight with Rafael Oceancho, and then he lost a unanimous decision to Wap Font. Not very hard to do. Font's a good fighter, but he goes down a weight class and loses to Kai Kala France. <gasps> Garbrandt, you went down to fucking flyweight. How? How do you go down a weight class and lose? That makes no sense. Like, I could fight Cody Garbrandt and beat him. I've never had a fight before. And if I can beat Cody Garbrandt, then, dear God, he's gone, he's fallen from grace. Well, actually, it's, been ob it's kind of obvious he's fallen from grace. Watch his fights. This man now doesn't look like he knows how to fight anymore. Take his fight with Kai Carl Flans. It was one round. The fight was one whole round. And Carl Flans pulverized him. Just me and my dad were watching, like, come on, Cody. Come on, No Love. Because my dad likes No Love, and No Love is a good fighter from what I've seen from him. So I'm like, come on. Me and him are both cheering for Cody. And he gets his ass handed to him. On a fucking silver platter, nonetheless. You make me a fucking commentator in the UFC, I'm gonna say that shit all the time. Just, this man's ass was handed to him on a fucking silver platter. Yes. Here's your ass, good sir. Aw, oh, thank you. Nom nom nom. That's how the fucking fight, some of these fighters fight. Like, here's your ass, good sir. Aw, oh, thank you. Nom nom nom. Like, wait a second. And then a YouTuber I watch, named James Key, apparently, like, I forgot how old the person said they were, he was, but how old James Key was. Um, he said to, he fucked his own sister. I don't watch his videos anymore. Yo. I, I literally stopped watching his videos because I forgot he existed until I saw that video pop up. Talking about that, and I'm like, oh, no, he did that. Damn. That's pretty bad. And that was when he was, I think it said when he was nine and his sister was ten. Like, seven or eight. Like, they have like a year or two age difference. And this fucker just did that, and I was like, oh, well, damn, he did that. Why would he do that? Good question. That's not a good enough fucking reason, man. Like, he did make an apology, and, was actu and he actually did sound sorry about that, 
and he has actually been going to therapy because that happened but still dude you don't do that and the main reason it first came out that that happened was a guy was pissed off that James Key was dating the guy the not the guy the girl they used to date and he told him that after he was asked about it and he told him about it and the guy was like no, oh, please don't ever tell anyone. I will tell everyone. I lied when I said I wouldn't tell anyone. And literally, he said the only way I will take this down is if you wake up with his ex-girlfriend. This man literally wanted his friend, well, his former friend, to break up with the girl he was dating because he used to date her. And he was mad about that, and so he decided, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna cry out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give out. If he doesn't do this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell everyone where he lives. Why the fuck would you do that? That's not a dick move. Like, I don't care if this man fucked his own sister or not. You don't fucking dox people. Like I don't care how bad of a person they were, or you don't fucking dox people in my eyes. Like, the only person I think it'd be fine to fucking dox is, like, Adolf Hitler. But, like, that fucker's dead. Give. Yeah. I regret grabbing you. I am speed. I regret grabbing you. So, like, one, he's ruined himself in my eyes. Like, I learned, um, period YouTuber, he does animations. Animations are cool. Oh, he's done that. No, no more. He ain't good in my eye. Uh... My dad's gonna be on his way in 10 minutes. Okay, I gotta either finish this attempt, or I'm in the extreme, and I'm gonna pick up, and I get come back to my mom's whenever I do. Whenever I finally come back to my mom's. Fine, I'm gonna finish this one, because this is a mate. I didn't need to use a bomb there. Oh, Die. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's the end of that attempt. Let's see if I can get a one that is slightly as good as that one, because, like, I had amazing stuff, and my brain just went, Please, let's see. Died. It's like, yeah. Goddamn quick. Yeah, one more. For some reason, I I think Jerry Bean videos are good. I'm not I'm not saying like for some reason I think their video their videos are good. They're extremely good. Like I like their video Jerry Bean videos. He had uh, um, them. They, they I don't I don't fucking know their gender. Just gonna say her to me. Guessing, but I like their video her videos. But people fucking dox her because they didn't like her very much because. PNG tuber, oh no! Wait, wait. So why you talk to VTubers? Oh, they're fine. What about PNG tubers? Disgusting. They shouldn't exist. VTubers are just PNG YouTubers, but in fucking 3D, dumbass. <laughs> like what the fuck? Are they fuck? Are the people that dox PNG YouTuber, PNG tubers, fucking brain dead? Like, literally, literally, I have a line from an Eminem song for it. Brain damage ever since the day I was born. Like, that's what those fuckers are. They're brain damage ever since the day they were born. Like, oh, I don't like these PNG YouTubers. How about VTubers? Oh, I'm fine with them. They're the same thing! You, the Luigi board. <laughs> Be careful, you might die. <gasps> to what, huh? Cody Garbrandt? Like that fucker knows where I live? Oh shit, it's Cody Garbrandt! Ah! That'd be like a funny scare on you for you to be like. Be careful, you might die to who? To what? Cody Garbrandt? That cunt doesn't know where I live. And if he did, he ain't got the balls. I'd punch him once on the jaw and he'd crumble to the ground like he's been doing in his last few fights. 
Wait, what? No, Cody, Cody, no, we're gonna choke, we're gonna choke, no love. No. Die already, die already, Steven, die already, Steven, die quicker than Steven Universe did. Clown tears? No, we got Chester Stab. Yo, you got Crown Pierce? No, we got Chester Stab. <laughs> Prince Zam? No, we got Peasant Sam. <laughs> At least tell me you still got Whip Whip 2. No, we got Jack Jazz 4. I mean, no. At least Whip Whip 2? No, we got, just, we got Jack Jazz 4. Okay, I quit. Okay, you know what? At least tell me you have Peasant Sam. I mean, Prince Sam. No, we got Peasant Zam. You know, at least tell me you got Prince Zam. No, we got Peasant Sam. Okay, I quit. Okay, I'm done here. Take me with you. I got the feel Branzy's the only one who stayed. He's like, take me with you. I like Branzy. Branzy, Bamzy, Bamzy. No, not Pansy. Brandy is not Pansy. Brandy, Pansy, Pansy, Pams, Tums. Welcome to the Pansy. Pansy. I. I Brandy's just sounds like. Brandy just sounds. Brandy just sounds like the type of person. If you met him in real life and you were told you had to leave, you're just like. Okay, I'll see you when I see you again, friend. And actually be sad you're leaving. Like, that's how good of a person he is, it seems. Like, like, don't, no one, no one, please, like, no one tell me there's gonna be, like, a controversy coming out about him, like, how he's, like, a fucking, like, mega Nazi or some bullshit like that. If that happens, I quit. I just quit. I'm gonna cry, I will cry, because I love his content. I died. In five minutes, I have to go to my dad, so I gotta get ready, so... <sighs> That's the end of today's stream. Goodbye, people. Booga, booga, booga.